So now I think pea salad must be a Southern thing, maybe a Midwest. You'll have to let me know. But when I lived in Phoenix and in California, there was no pea salad. You couldn't go to the deli counter, get pea salad like, like you can in the South. And it's just one of my all-time favorite side salads, like perfect for the barbecue because it's delicious. And of course, you get your vegetables in. So I just wanted to bring this pea salad to you because I got fresh peas from the farm stand and what a perfect time to make a racket and 4th of July is coming up. So let's make pea salad. Now my peas are fresh, so I am giving them a blanch, but I think that um, frozen over canned is the best way for this salad because I think the canned, they, they're a little too mushy. So one pound frozen peas, thawed and drained. So I'm starting my dressing here. I've got one tablespoon of sugar, and of course you can substitute honey or maple syrup. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And I like to get this vinegar and sugar and salt done first so that the salt starts to dissolve. And I'm going to do a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt and then about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, and I'm doing my mixed pepper for this. But you could do either. You could do your mixed, your white, or your black for this. I, I like my mixed. And I'm gonna give this a whisk and let that salt start to dissolve. And now to that, I'm gonna add half of a cup of sour cream and a half of a cup of mayonnaise. And then we're gonna add a third of a cup of diced red onions. Now, for salads and things like this, I always soak my red onions in some ice water and this helps make them crunchy and it also takes that strong pungent odor away from them so that then the red onion isn't overpowering the whole dish now you don't want to soak these for long five minutes is plenty long enough if you soak them for too long they will get a little soggy so for a nice crisp red onion or any kind of green onions scallions whatever you're using this is a great method to do that just to take that real strong onion flavor away from them. So in with our onions and then you're going to do some bacon, six to eight pieces of bacon diced up and then the cheese. Now I have a sharp cheddar cheese here and I just like to cut my cheese in little cubes. Now of course if you wanted to shred it you can but for me, pea salad, the cheese needs to be in little chunks. So next comes my peas, and I've blanched, I've shocked and blanched mine. We're so lucky where the boat is right now. There's a farm about four miles from here, and they're so, so delicious. Fresh, the fresh pea, I can't tell you the taste difference in a fresh pea versus a canned pea. And trust me, Billy and I, we love our canned peas, any kind of peas, we both love and in we go now i do like to make this up just a little ahead of time um like in at least an hour or so just to let those flavors kind of meld together look at that vibrancy of that green color isn't it beautiful so here we go so this is just that great summertime backyard barbecue salad or for me just any kind of time salad and of course the most important part is tasting and see if you need to add a little more salt or pepper mm. so delicious so my favorite salad i'm going with a little more kosher salt and a little more pepper for mine And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it chill. And then we're going to have delicious pea salad. I hope your summer's going great. I hope you're having lots of backyard barbecues. And I hope you enjoy this pea salad. Send me a note. Let me know what you think. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'll see everybody later. Bye. Love ya.